The touch screen of the control panel is used for altering the charts that are presented to the patient. The charts available will vary with the chart type that has been linked to the RT5100 refractor unit. In this video, the chart we are using is the NIDEC SC1600. The control panel displays an enlarged view of the chart that has been selected and that is currently being displayed to the patient. The refractor unit is pre-programmed to automatically present the correct auxiliary lens or filter for the chart or test being selected. There are three pages listing the different chart types available. Page one contains our Snell and Visual Acuity charts. So we have letters, as well as our Landolt Cs, covering a wide range of sizes from six over 150 all the way to down to 64. Page two contains our picture testing and our number testing, as well as two different EDTRS Logmar Visual Acuity test charts useful for testing patients with low vision. Page three has a wide range of different images and pictures, some of which have stereopsis demonstrating capability. Back on the first two pages, the bottom half of the screen here demonstrates the essential auxiliary testing such as duochrome and cross-sill, as well as our visual function testing such as our contrast and our low illumination. The bottom half of the control panel is for the practitioner to alter the auxiliary lenses and filters offered to the patient during the subjective refraction. Here, we're able to import data from other NIDEC devices such as autorefractors and lens meters to take the refraction from unaided visions all the way through to final Rx. At the top half of the panel just here, we're able to change between sphere, sill, axis, add and visual acuity measurements as well as the ability to measure the patient's PD. We're also able to add in vertical and horizontal prism as required. On the far side of the panel just here, we're able to use these buttons to mask and isolate different lines and letters. The dial here allows us to wind up and down in 025 steps. Alternatively, the practitioner can decide to control their subjective refraction using the touchscreen as an alternative to the button on the control panel.